we are going to work on dividing numbers that are written in um, trigonometric form. We're dividing complex numbers written in trigonometric form. We do have a formula from our text down here, right here. It says Z1 divided by Z2. That just means one complex number in trig form divided by another is R1 divided by R2. Now R is the number out in front. And then you have cosine of your angles subtracted plus I sine of your angles subtracted. And for your angles, you take the angle that's in the numerator minus the angle that's in the denominator. Okay, That does make a difference. So let's try this. We're supposed to divide the numbers that are in front. So we'll have 4 divided by 3. Cosine of our angles subtracted, so 22 minus 145 plus I sine 22 minus 145. Right, that gives me 4 thirds times the cosine of negative 123 plus I sine negative 123. Okay, well it wants us to write the exact value. 123 is not one of our angles that we have an exact value for. So rather than using my calculator and calculating the value of that to find the exact value, I'm just going to leave it like this. So I will have 4 thirds <laughs> cosine negative 123 plus I sine negative 123. Now there are several ways we could write that if we wanted to make it smaller. Remember our abbreviation we can use for cosine I sine. We would have 4 thirds CIS is our abbreviation and then we put the angle. Okay, So we could also write it this way. That makes it a little shorter. Um, there's one other variation you may see. Rather than writing negative 123, typically we write angles with their positive measure and not their negative measure. So negative 123 would be this angle here. And if we want to know its positive measure, we just subtract it from 360. So it's also could be written as 237 degrees. So we could also write this as 4 thirds cis 237. Okay, so it just depends on what you prefer. There are those, that is three possible ways to write the exact value for this one. Again, we can't calculate it because that would require rounding. So this is the closest we can get to an exact value. All right, let's try another. Again, we're asked to write the exact value. We are dividing complex numbers. We know they're complex because we have this I here, and they're in trigonometric form. So we're asked to divide the numbers in front. So we'll have 12 divided by 6. And then we subtract the angles, numerator minus denominator. We have cosine of 354 minus 144 plus I sine 354 minus 144. Well, 12 divided by 6 is just 2, and for our angle, 354 minus 144 gives me 210. So I have cosine of 210 degrees plus I sine 210 degrees. Now it asked me for an exact value, so I need to decide, is 210 one of those angles that I know the exact values for? Okay, well, where is 210 degrees? It's past 180. Okay. It is how far past 180 degrees? Well, it's 30 degrees. And we do know exact values for 30 degree angles. So take out your chart or your memorization. What are the cosine and sine for an angle at 210 degrees? Okay, the cosine of 210, remember cosine's negative in that quadrant. Um, our cosine is negative root 3 over 2 plus I, the sine of 210, is negative 1 half. So we have 2 times negative root 3 over 2 minus, because this was a negative 1 half, negative 1 half I, and now we can distribute the 2. If we multiply 2 times 2 here, it cancels our denominator. We get root 3. If we multiply 2 here, same thing happens, and I just get 
negative i is all I would have left there. So my exact answer for this is negative root 3 minus i. And we're going to do one more division problem. We're asked to divide 18 cis 40 degrees by 2 cis 190. Again, remember this cis, C-I-S, is just an abbreviation, a, a shorter way to write out cosine as our C of the angle 40 degrees plus I sine, that's the IS part of 40 degrees, over 2 cosine 190 plus I sine 190. We go ahead and divide in front, 18 divided by 2, and then here we subtract numerator minus denominator, so cosine of 40 minus 190 plus I sine 40 minus 190. 40 minus 190 gives me 150. And in front here, let me fix that. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we have 9 times the cosine of negative 150 plus I sine negative 150. Now here they've asked us to round our answer to the nearest hundredth, so I'm not going to worry about whether or not this is one I have exact values for. I believe it is, but <laughs> we'll just round to the nearest hundredth like they asked us to. So if I go ahead and distribute here, I have 9 times the cosine of negative 150, which will work just fine if you put it in your calculator, plus 9i sine negative 150. So I do 9 times the cosine of negative 150 degrees gives me negative 7.79 plus 9 times the sine of negative 150 is negative 4.5. And we still have that i. So our answer rounded to the nearest hundredth is negative 7.79 minus 4.5i. There is exact values for that also we could have calculated, but they asked us to round.